Good evening, everyone. Looks like we have a full house tonight. Who's ready for a cocktail? You guys know that any chef that has the password to get through that door has the talent to take you guys on. This week's competing chef has been nominated for three James Beard Awards. He's been named one of Food & Wine's Best New Chefs and one of People Magazine's Sexiest Chefs. He's gotta be one of my friends at this point. What's, who's your best looking friend? Chef Kevin Tien. Bring it. <laughs> What's up, Chef? How you doing? Kevin, welcome. I think that your style of cuisine, your tenacity is gonna be very tough for these guys. Where yeah, you? you know. Looking forward to sitting on this couch next season. Ooh. Oh. Move on over. <laughs> well, Kevin, this will be one of the toughest culinary challenges you've ever had. But if you can beat them, then you deserve $25,000 in cash. Chef, Michael, 40 minutes on the clock. Go. Let's go, Let's Michael. go Michael. I love prawns because it takes a real mastery to cook them. So this first dish, I'm making poached prawns with orange fondue sauce. And I want uh, the bread prawn to be lightly poached to keep that sweet flavor. Kevin, he is an assassin in there. Absolutely. Yeah, he seems it. How do you like the prawns, chef? They're beautiful. The red ones are perfect. Kevin is a great chef. I know what he's capable of, and these ingredients against him are gonna be tough. Here's the update. Chef Altaggio has fresh corn grits. He basically creamed the corn on a grater. He's got the balsamic vinegar and the soy sauce over there reducing. It smells so good in here right now. Minute 20. Finishing touches, this is it. Let's go, let's Ten go, seconds. let's go! Nine, eight, seven. And I forgot that my prawns are still in the fryer. Four, three, two, one. Oh. Doctor cooking. Damn, I got one in. Round two has the same rules as round one. I'm gonna give you 40 minutes to create two dishes showing your creativity and your range. Go! Go, Brooke! Let's go, Brooke! I don't know what I'm gonna make, but I'm confident that I can figure this out. The sweet potato is what I'm most excited about. And I'm going to treat them a couple of different ways. As soon as I hear molasses, I think about classic roasted carrots. I'm hoping the carrots will accentuate the earthiness of the sweet potato in my dish. So for my first dish, I'm gonna make a pork tenderloin that sits on a coconut sweet potato puree and a molasses and chipotle barbecue sauce. For my second dish, I'm making a beef tartare with crispy sweet potatoes and a molasses cured quail egg. It's inspired by a classic like steak and potatoes. Chef, you have the mixer out. What's happening? You making biscuits? But not today. Okay. Well, you gotta bring your Louisiana roots into this one. Absolutely. Come and find it. I'll tell you, it's either gonna be an amazing hit or it might go the opposite way. Brooke, how are you feeling about time? Never better. <laughs> With all the things that I have going on, my biggest concern is to not overcook the pork tenderloin. And when I cut open the pork tenderloin, oh my God, it's super rare in the center, and it's definitely not ready to go. Great. 15 seconds. I top my tartare off with my molasses, quail egg yolk, and then crispy sweet potatoes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Dr. Chicken. Good job. Beautiful. How are you feeling, Chef? I feel all right, you know. You have to get through Tiffany to win this. Let's go. Mano a mano. Me and you, buddy. Just to remind you, this round is worth double the points. And you will each make one dish this round. Giving Kevin the advantage, he gets to choose the two ingredients. All right, Kevin, show us what you got. You ready, Chef? You're ready or not. We have... Okay. This round, the Titans are playing by my rules. I'm like, oh, freak. What am I gonna do? Just cook like there's $25,000 on the line. Go! Oh, my God. 